Hello and welcome to 13 Signs Tarot. My name is Harley and if you are returning, thank you so much for your support. It means a lot. If you are new here, thank you for checking out my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you can find my channel in the future and see when I post new videos. I am a lifelong astrologer. I've been studying astrology since I was a child. I am a 13 Signs astrologer specifically and I've been studying that zodiac for about seven years now, okay? I do have an astrology YouTube if you want to check out some of those videos. I do teach astrology. I am also a tarot reader of four years. I'm a clairsentient, a remote viewer, and I also do some mediumship work, okay? So if you want to check out any of the readings I do offer, they are below. I do spiritual readings as well, okay? And I also offer career readings. I also have a Patreon where I post all my 18 plus content. So if you want to check that out, I would advise that because you get all the 18 plus extendeds, a daily reading, and I also go live there on the third Thursday of every month. And I also send out a daily text message reading so if you want to get the daily text message reading hear from me every day that is also in the description box below check out my instagram i offer specials there and i also post readings that i do not post on my youtube consistently on my instagram okay and last but not least check me out on tiktok i have some readings there as well just wanted to let you guys know what i do thank you so much for watching and i'm getting to the reading now Got me twisted, you must not know about me. I still can't go live from my other page. It's messed up. It's messed up. Still can't go live from my personal page. I, I mean, technically, I did fuck up. So, you know, technically, I did use a fucking 18 plus deck in my story. And I didn't even think about it. But whatever speaking of my story again i'll let you guys know hey what's up chantel i am doing a special later it's gonna be a love special and it's gonna be the truth about your love like that one did really well the last time i did it y'all really like that one so if you like my specials they're inexpensive it's a great way to get a reading um from me because i don't do personals um except career readings so uh yeah let me go ahead and get started on this one this one is going to be what do you need to know so this is about any situation it doesn't have to be love related we just did a love reading i will post that um in a minute so this is going to be about what do you need to know whatever the situation is so whatever comes to mind apply it to your situation the way it resonates right um i also want to ask you guys to please go comment on my youtube videos and also check out the spiritual um protection class that i'm going to be doing this friday it's in my link in the bio if you guys need any of that um it's not a permanent block i'm sure it'll be off in a while it you know it's not a permanent block all right so let's see what you guys need to know right now what do you need to know make sure you guys comment on these videos when i post them my youtube name is 13 signs tarot all right, so we have the 12th house. The 12th house is literally literally the house of self-sabotage. It's what you do to inadvertently sabotage yourself, but you're not aware of it. For example, my 12th house is ruled by Aries, so I am super dominant and I'm not aware of it. I don't know until people tell me, hey, <laughs> you know you're a little intimidating? Hey, you know you're a little dominating? Hey, you know you're a little domineering? You know you're a little feisty you know you come off confrontational i'm like really I, I, no like me <laughs> never N no clearly all right so whatever your 12th house is that's the shit you do and you're not aware of it my mars is also there as well so just like double dose double dose okay so we have waning crescent moon so you guys are really working on um so y'all have been really told lately like, y'all been shown lately how you've been sabotaging yourself um, as well. So that's kind of coming to an end. We got good things coming in, though. We have the first house in the sun. So this is like reinventing yourself. Not sun in the 12th house. Sun in the 12th house, that's a serial killer placement. <laughs> no, literally, literally it is. I'm sorry. But that's literally known as a serial killer placement in astrology. My, my son has it and my brother has it. My cousin has it. I know a few son in the 12th house people. Um, you guys just are afraid of everything. That's all. 
your ego is in your subconscious. I tell people with sun in the 12th house to just meditate. If you meditate, you'll be fine. You guys need to meditate more than anybody because in order for you guys to get in touch with your ego, you have to get into your subconscious. So it's a crazy ass placement to have, but it's out here. All right. So we have the first, um, the first house in the sun. So this is really good. This is talking about reinventing yourself. So like if you guys have been so a lot of you guys may have been going through a hard time especially like depression the 12th house is like it's crazy shit you know it's the 12th house it's it's like deep rooted shit shit that you don't even remember like childhood things and all that so it's been probably kind of tough emotionally um but i feel like a good good things are coming the first house in the sun is saying that it's like a reinvention or like it's you're coming out of that darker energy um, you know, so this is actually pretty good, especially going from the 12th house to the first house. It means you're moving, right? You're moving, you're moving. And that's the whole point is to get that chart moving. You know what I'm saying? I don't meditate. So listen, I don't meditate. I know everybody, oh my gosh, she's spiritual. She don't, I don't fucking meditate. I have ADHD. Um, I got shit to do. I don't, I fall asleep when I be trying to meditate and shit. So when I tell you to meditate, is I mean it. I mean it. That's what I'm saying. I, it's something I don't even do myself. So anytime I tell y'all to meditate or do yoga or some shit, because I, I do yoga every once in a while, but I don't do it as much as I should, or meditate. I do not meditate. So if I tell somebody to meditate, it's because that's, like, good for your chart. It's just being honest. Fuck all that shit. Everybody always want to act like they meditate. I don't. I'm not proud of it. It's something I need to work on, but you know quiet in my mind for 30 minutes <laughs> right anyway so let's see what y'all need to know the queen of pentacles yes boo yes Ooh. okay the five of pentacles so this is for some of you this is about um money like y'all been feeling like money has been a little bit of an issue this is some of you guys this is about money <clears throat> um i think that you guys thought that you were like being punished it almost feels like maybe you guys thought that y'all were being punished for something like you were going through such a hard time maybe financially and emotionally um and maybe your money has been kind of slow it has been like maybe blocked for a little bit um, with the Ace of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, I feel like good news about money is coming. The Page of Pentacles is talking about good news about money, especially within the next month. I see a month here twice. So this is this prediction is for a month, you guys, four weeks. Um, some of y'all want to get pregnant, and you're going to find out you're pregnant in a month, okay? It's going to be a girl. If you get pregnant in a month and you watch this reading, it's going to be a girl. <sighs> y'all this damn pregnancy shit it ain't me so I don't know it ain't me it's y'all somebody up in there somebody somebody got about to be pregnant it's definitely a girl too anyway so um money is going to improve it's like you I don't know you've been it's like they was trying to make your ass sat down for a little bit because y'all was doing too much like y'all was doing too much like y'all were y'all were like overworking yourself or just working 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 but really not dealing with the, the the deeper shit so it's like they made you take some time to work on that that the sabotage or what you've been doing to fuck yourself up okay ace of wands yeah there's going to be some new opportunities like y'all been feeling a little thirsty for a while um some of y'all have been feeling a little thirsty for about like opportunities. You're like, when is this new shit coming in? Like a new wave. Like some of you guys are wanting a new wave. Like you might have been, been experiencing prosperity. Things were good. And then you got like, boom, blocked. And it's because your ass wouldn't like chill out and listen to what you needed to work on. Um, but yeah, Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, the star, things are going to get better. Um, there's, I just heard Aquarius season, so by Aquarius season, you guys aren't even going to be, um, yeah, I'm telling you guys, some of y'all are definitely going to have a girl. Um, there, you, things are, y'all are not even going to be worried about what y'all were worrying about before. Now, if this is a love situation, I do see somebody, um, apologizing to you. And I also see a new person. So some of you guys could be meeting an Aries or a Pisces. A new person and then I also see an apology from someone definitely like apology and effort because you know someone can apologize 
and not put any effort and this is like you got to work with this person whoever it is that's apologizing to you it's either a water sign and they're probably like a february pisces so they might be like an aquarius and sidereal so they're truly fixed um or they might be a capricorn uh, which is truly sag energy so they're naturally confrontational or assholes they are very blunt very brute type of people so you want some sort of change from this person you're gonna have to give them time because i'm getting baby steps especially with these pages here um it's like this person is going to try to change their ways but it's like they're learning this person is learning and the thing is they're willing too because with those types of energies they're not usually willing to change their ways this is actually someone who is whoever it is that's apologizing um so you're gonna have to kind of give them a learning curve i'm not saying you have to be a little bitch or be a, a doormat or be walked all over but there's going to be some people that there's going to be y'all look y'all know who this person is either they're not they're worth it or they're not if they're not worth it then then not, that's not who i'm talking about that's not what i'm talking about this is talking about someone who genuinely wants to work on themselves they genuinely want to be a better person um this could be a friend it does not have to be a love relationship right the page of pentacles yeah because this person for a lot of you if this is a love situation i knew it i was and i was like am i saying this right see because i was like all right if this is a love situation i was going to say because this person sees you as marriage material and i was like is that true sphere like am i just saying that to say that and then the hierophants at the bottom of the deck so when i didn't even see that and i looked at it I was like oh yeah they definitely see your ass as marriage material i don't be making this shit up okay so it could be definitely an earth sign because we have capricorn taurus virgo here Cancer and Pisces is here. Aries is here. Okay. What's up, Leslie? Um, so, yeah. Somebody actually does see you as worth it. I just heard worth it by... Um, what is that song? Fifth Harmony, I think it is. I, like, I actually like that song. I actually like that song. But... So, yeah, money's about to be doing way better for you guys, especially those who are in self-employment. It might have been a little dry. I do see a dry spell. A lot of you guys have been working through a lot of shit. Like, okay... It's like spirit gave you a taste of success so you could see all your fuck ups when you had success. Like, okay, this is what you do to sabotage your success. This is what you do, which is what you do. So they gave you success so you could see where you fuck yourself up at. Now they're about to give it to you again and say, okay, you should know from last time, don't be doing X, Y, and Z. You get what I'm saying? So I kind of see what it is. I see what's going on. All right. So what, what else do you guys need advice? And then I'm going to get off here. Ooh, we'll take that the nine of cups yes just relax that's what they're saying things are coming to you yeah some of you guys need to spend more time in your in by yourself like why well, just hear crab boils what's like gonna be fucking eating netflix and crab boils i don't know some of y'all need to just be spending more time to yourself like i feel like a lot of you guys see abundance and prosperity when you spend time by yourself like when you really and it's it's selfish like you guys need to be selfish and it's with the hermit so it's not negative selfishness like if this was the devil i would say okay some of y'all are too fucking selfish up on my life but a lot of y'all this is productive selfishness hermit this is this is this has been a lifelong lesson for some of y'all to learn how to um be your own best friend i'm gonna be my own best friend i'm gonna be my own best friend Who, why am i hearing that song what song is that what song is that? Now it's going to be stuck in my head because it's there and I can't think of what it's called. What the fuck ever. So yeah, some of y'all, this is learned selfishness, which is not the same as fucking naturally selfish people. This is saying that you've learned you need to do that. Um, I'm going out to eat by myself today. Shit, I would too, but I went and got somebody else's children. There, Beyonce, there it is. Me, myself, and I, yes. Wasn't I singing her earlier? Yes, I just sung her other fucking song on the other live. Okay, come through, Oshun. Come through, Oshun. Come through, ma'am. Yes, she is here. So, yeah, um, this is like learned selfishness. So, a lot of you guys are going to start seeing a lot of abundance and things when you start being, like, by yourself. Um, I know this, it, 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 it's hard for you guys to learn how to do this, but it's needed. It's needed. The Queen of Swords and the Nine of Swords, like... Y'all feel bad about being kind of, I guess, cold, but it's not. Queen of Swords is logical. It's not cold. It just needs to be done. Okay? So if you've been worried about money, I feel like don't worry about it. Things are going to be better. But when you get this money that you're about to get, this, you know, reprieve or this blessing, whatever the fuck you're about to get, when you get that, 
Don't do the same shit you did before. Learn from the last time you had a little... Because some of y'all already had bread. Like, y'all money was good. Queen of Pentacles. You know, y'all were working your ass off. Everything was fine. Then it was just like... You started having these issues. And that's why. Because you was, it was like, if they kept letting you do it, it wasn't going to get better. So, that's what I see for you guys. All right? Somebody's learning how to give. Somebody's learning how to give. And you're learning how to be selfish. You're learning how to receive. So you're actually learning from each other. Okay, that's what I'm getting. For the person who's apologizing to you, I feel like this person needs to learn how to be a giver. I'll talk to y'all later. All right. Isn't there like over 400 paths to Oshun? I don't know. I don't, I mean, everybody says they're Oshun. I mean, Oshun is Oshun though. So everybody's going to want a piece of her. But I mean, I know I'm ruled by Oshun. And it's not because I want it to be. I'm really, I really like Oya. I, that's, that's, I'm ruled by both. So Oya is who I really, I mean, I love Oshun, don't get me wrong, but that's not my, that's not my, my go-to energy. I'm naturally more of a Oya type of energy. So yeah, I mean, everybody gravitates to Oshun, especially because Beyonce made Oshun more famous. So, um, you know. Beyonce is, is a true Leo. So anything Beyonce touches, like that Teflar bag, <laughs> you know, you get what I'm saying. So, um, yeah, guys, I'll see y'all soon, all right? I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you, Leslie. Peace.